In Vivo is a bicultural informational program about San Diego and Baja California, the largest border crossing in the world. You are in for a treat. Oh my God, uh, Leonard Simpson has brought two fabulous, very creative people. Uh, this young man that you're going to see, uh, uh, Alexander Lucas, is the youngest creative dress designer that we will ever see. And Leonard, I want you to take the honor, please, of starting with uh, Alexander. How are you, Connie? It's well, good I'm to be here, fine. of course, and always. I'm and don't you look gorgeous in color? <laughs> Alexander Luque, Luque. Is, the, is here with us. He is a creative artist in the world of fashion and design as well as art. Yes. And of course, William Williams is here, who is with the Rex Agency, who is a wonderful hair artist, hair designer and colorist. Hi, William William, how Hello. are you? Thank you. And hi, time. Alexander Luque. <laughs> thank you so much for traveling all this way to be with our special guest here with Connie, and thank you for having me as usual. Oh, I am thank thrilled you. to we be here. We want to get to know him. Because yes, we do. We will know more of him. The world will know more yes, of him. Yes, they will. <laughs> you are only 19 years old, and uh, Connie, he started, and I won't speak for you, but just a, a brief overview for our viewers at home. He started uh, very young, developing with paper products and eco. ECO yes, paper dolls dot com um, for everybody at home to go online and look at the gallery and the art as they're watching. Tell us, I know, about how you got started. Well, I always started with a, a small flower that my mom teaches me how to do. And after I started making that uh, flower, I, I started making a new a thing out of a newspaper and just thinking out of the box. And once I create that flower, I start moving into more creative and more successful things until I was. Um, uh, an age that I was, I wanted to create something else, and 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 the first thing that comes to my mind, why do I make a dress made of newspaper? So everyone will just go crazy for it and just yes. tell me how I made it. Yes. So I was really excited making this uh, paper dress that I have in my mind. By the time I have the first dress, uh, the first dress that I made, um, I was going to different um, events from um, from one place to another in, in Arizona. Um, and a lot of people was asking me if I could make a paper dress. The first thing that comes to my mind is like, I don't think so, I can make one, but I, I will try. Um, by the time I start creating the first dress, what happened, it was a failure. Oh. It didn't work. It was too heavy and the girl will not be able to feed on it. Oh. So I, I try once again, I move on. I, I try in a different um, infrastructure for the dress and it worked. It was the first dress that I've made exactly 12 months ago when I, I showed out off to a uh, first Friday on Arizona and everyone just loved it. And once I create one, you always want to create another one and another one and just get better and better until you get to a point that you want to create <laughs> other things. It becomes well. magical. Yeah. Magical. You know, it's, it's just incredible. Go the, ahead. The please. most interesting thing about you, uh, uh, Alejandro, Alexander, is that here is a young man who started with all kinds of adverse uh, situations. I mean, you don't have to be, he's a wonderful exa example of that you don't have to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth to be creative. This young man, with all the adversities, he, came, he pulled out of that with creative these one-time, one-piece art uh, art pieces out of paper, mm -hmm, no exactly. less, you know. And eco-friendly, and what, what is so oh, special yes. is that, uh, and of course, you know in the hair industry how the products have gotten, uh, everything is eco-friendly and, and biodegradable green. and going green. Here, this young person inspiring other young people to go forward with hardly anything but a roll of tape and papers and magazines from around the world, Japan, Italy, America, of mm -hmm. course, the beautiful, <laughs> and everything else has created. Can we take a look as we go any further at one of your creations? Let's take a look now. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, I can hardly wait. We're all so excited. Let's get to the first one. Diffuse over. <laughs> These beautiful models, of course, have donated their time tonight to be here in the studio with us, but this first, let's go to Alma, standing down dead center it with us tonight in this streamlined, beautiful one-shoulder gown with jewel trim on Alma. Go ahead, Alexander Luque, please tell us your creation. <laughs> this is um, one of a kind dress. Um, all the designs are just made of, um, designed by, with, um, by Home and Garden magazines. The whole thing was to make the whole, the whole uh, dress look with flowers incorporated. 
since it, it was a whole, a whole point of making the dress. And um, this is a long gown. Um, designed for a um, gala French. dress, exactly, it's a French. Beautiful, uh -huh. and beautiful. Of course, paper shredder not included. No. <laughs> yeah. And San Diego Home and Garden Lifestyle <laughs> Magazine, because I have to say that, because of course we're tied. Yes, this exactly. has a tail yeah. to it, too. But it's just it's exquisite. Trendy. As she turns around, you'll see the flow of this back and forth. And we can see in the monitor right here, and the model will actually model back and forth in this. Now, <laughs> to our right, we get into paper pleating as the camera crosses on our next model. And down the next models come on board, you'll see the wonderful two tubular dress with the fan folding at the bottom on Christine. This is the redhead. Let's go in close on that and take a look at her. This is amazing. Um, I love the fact that this is almost mermaid-like in shape and, and what is high fashion in Paris right now, London and Milan, is this. But your originality is that people can actually wear these now. They're zippered, they're actually tailored, and people say, oh my gosh, but they're actually taped in fabric. Let's talk about hair with William Williams right now on this model as we go up to the hair. I want to take a look at her hair. If we could pan up with the camera to the model model's hair on the top of her. Can we go in close on the hair and take a look at that? William Williams, tell us about the hair here. I really just like to, uh, uh, I get really inspired by these dresses and I love the whole handcrafted feel of it. And so I like my work for this not to be too polished, but just, you know, whatever shapes I'm creating, I like it to have a sort of um, handcrafted finish. Very and, loose. Very and that's where hair is going right now, the direction for spring, summer. Absolutely. You see such a difference when you look at fashion magazines and hair magazines. Hair magazines are, are generally too polished, too form, too conceptual. Fashion magazines is really loose and hand, it's, you know, very um, hand touched. Christine, turn your hair to the side. You're just your head there so we can see the twisting and turning that he did. And then actually two different shapes. On one side I did that and on another side there's a whole other kind of feel. <laughs> I'm used to working for photography so I'm used to seeing things from angles and like, you know, mm. giving them different perspectives. It's very beautiful. We also had the artist James Overstreet on the show last month, Connie, as you know, and the genius is back tonight and who did all the makeup, so thank you to James Overstreet. I was just going to say the makeup is The unusual. makeup is sensational, yeah, yes, very is. garden, uh -huh. very fresh. All right, let's take a look at our next model. Alexander, tell us about what you did here, and, and actually I see paint incorporated with jewels and paper products as well. Go ahead. Um, this one. <laughs> this is gorgeous. This one is, uh, this inspires me when I was uh, taking this Greek um, culture class in, in my university. and. I, it inspires me to look at these goddess, um, Greek um, models, and I mean, goddess that will wear these gowns, and and ex especially the, the shade that has um, all the all the folded hand by hand um, pleating. Pleating. It's beautiful. It's, 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 and it you sprayed it too. On the it's tips. sprayed it's with sprayed ornamentation, which yes. is exquisite. You guys, don't you just love all this? Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's I, so I, I alive. That's just what I love. Yeah. The next model, come on out. Let's take this. This is pom pom. Talk about Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah. If you're listing Lady Gaga on her people, please call in. Britney take Spears, note. artist, uh, <laughs> Katy Perry. Please call in because you're willing to do concerts, videos, and fashion. Everything. This is a pom pom dress. It comes alive. It's exciting. It's short. It's bejeweled. <laughs> the hair is fantastic. Thank William Williams. I love that styling. That Marilyn Monroe gone crazy right. imagery. Right. Yeah. But the pom pom is beautiful here. I love the spray. And let's talk about as our next model comes on. Let's talk about product. Pass me this beautiful handbag, Alexander. Of course. We're, you know we're going to run out of time, but I want to talk about the handbag. As we go in here with mm -hmm. our next models coming on, let's go back to handbags. You do handbags. Eggs, wallets, you've just gone into galleries. I've seen all your work on, again, mm -hmm. ecopaperdolls.com. Okay. Click on gallery. And for you, William Williams, what is your website? Well, I'm, I'm represented by the Rex Agency in Los Angeles, at the rexagency.com. Rexagency.com, uh, okay. Yes, agency but Connie, look at these. If you're traveling, can you imagine through an airport? Look <laughs> I just love it. Beautiful tote bags. Handbags. Nobody would dare steal them. That's no one no. would not. And you could, you could just tell them that you're reading the New York Times. But I mean, they're zippered, they're, they're lined completely, they're in suede totes. He makes little miniature handbags, everything's custom ordered. And, and pull out your products and show us. Heels in Look here at this. that I create. Yes. Oh absolutely. my, and the boots. You talk and about that's, these that's, boots are made for walking kind of you've modeled say, every runway in the world. Right out of this, out of this because we're done. We're done. I, I can't oh. believe it, but we are. Oh. And and I'm so sorry. Please come back again. We will come back. Alexander, yeah. you've been fantastic. My fantastic. Pleasure. William Williams, thank you and so much. Connie. And now we have C and H with their one of their original pieces that they wrote, which is she danced right into my life. <laughs>